<clears throat> I want y'all all to tag Kirk Franklin. I want everybody to tag Kirk Franklin. Let me tell y'all something, man. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, right? I'm gonna be real honest with you, right? These, these church leaders, these church leaders, these church folks, y'all, y'all, y'all not, y'all not gonna make me kill myself because of y'all, y'all bipolar lie y'all some bipolar liars i want y'all to i want you to tag kurt franklin i want you to tag kurt franklin because it's my time now mr franklin you want to talk about me no problem that's my time y'all got the right one. Oh, y'all got the right one baby you got the right one at the wrong time you got the right one at the wrong time tag kurt franklin right i want y'all to tag him i want you to tag kurt franklin Cause y'all, y'all think y'all some bullies, right? Y'all think y'all some bullies. You got the right one. You got the right. I don't care if I tag somebody. Get off my page, all right? I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not for it. I'm not for it today, but because let me tell you something about these bullies, these gospel bullies, right? They try to put a bad name on you. They try to put a bad name on you so people don't want to mess with you. Because of their relationship, because of because of how they feel about you, but, but, but we're gonna get this straight today. I promise you, we're gonna get this straight today. We're gonna get everything straight today. Yep, we're gonna get everything straight today. Because let me tell you something, Mr. Kirk Franklin. You will not bully Bishop Whitehead. Okay, and you can sit here and deny all you want. Hold on one sec. Let me get this together. You can sit there and deny it all you want, but I I got the call. I got the call. I got the call. Yes, I got the call. Yes, I do. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yes, I got the call, right? So I want y'all to tag Kirk Franklin, and I want you to tag his his clown friend, Isaac Kyrie. Yeah, I want you to tag that dummy, that dummy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yup, that's right. Because let me tell y'all something of who Bishop Whitehead is, right? Let me tell you who Bishop Whitehead is. Bishop Whitehead is gonna say it like he, like he wanna say it, and I'm gonna tell it like it is, cause I ain't scared of none of y'all. I ain't scared of none of y'all. I'm, I'm different. Let me tell you something, I grew up in the church, but my daddy wasn't no pastor, my mama wasn't no pastor, my grandmother wasn't no pastor. Guess what? God chose me to be a preacher. I ain't, I, y'all think I wanna be a preacher? You think I want to, I don't get paid from preaching. You, y'all think I want to, no, I have to follow my calling. I got to follow my calling, right? But let me tell y'all something, how this, how this church world is set up. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me show you how this thing is set up. And all, everybody say, well, why aren't the bishops behind you? Why aren't the pastors behind you? Let me, let me keep it real with you. Can I keep it all the way real with you? Let me show y'all why these bishops, these pastors, these prophets, all of these, 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 these gospel singers, let me tell you why they're not behind Bishop Wyatt. You want to know why? Because I know how they move and I know what they did last summer, right? A lot of them are all sleeping with each other. Number one, men with men, women with women, men with other people wives, other people wives with other men. It's a whole freaking freak show. Where do you think they got green leaf from? You think they pull that out of the sky? You think they pulled it out of the sky? No, they did not, okay? And all of them are a bunch of freaks, right? And they look at the world and when they wanna be judgmental to the world, oh, well, bless be God, oh, oh. But nobody wanna keep it real. Nobody wanna keep it real. Let's talk about Kirk Franklin. So Kirk Franklin, I was invited to his concert with Ma Maverick City. And because of who I am, whatever, they gave me the VIP treatment or whatever, me and my wife went. So they bring me backstage and the dude Isaac Kyrie was like, Bishop, um, yo, I want you to meet Kurt. Listen, man, I, will, I want you to meet Kurt. Good dude, y'all can do a lot together, blah, 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 blah. Now, Isaac Kyrie reached out to me because of my name. He wanted me to come on his live, him and James Fortune. James Fortune, my brother, he, he's cool. But Isaac Kyrie 
oh, I'm your brother, I'm your brother, I'm your brother, this, this, that, that. So I told them, like, yo, look, man, I don't really be embracing people like that because you gospel niggas is funny. All right, you gospel community, y'all, y'all, let me tell you something, y'all the funniest people on earth. And then, and then when somebody slap, slap, slap you silly, y'all, 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 y'all calling the police. So I don't, I don't want, I don't want no parts of it, y'all. If you ain't gonna be real, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Cause I come from a culture of fighters. I come from Brooklyn. All right. And I ain't never been no punk. So my thing is this, y'all. And I'm just keeping it real. I stay in my lane. I stay in my lane, y'all. Bishop Whitehead stays in his lane. Because I don't I don't need no new friends. Not one pastor, nor bishop, nor prophet, nobody helped me build my church. Nobody. And I'm 10 years in now. This year makes 10 years. This September makes 10 years. Okay? So this dude Isaac Kyrie. Oh, come what I want you to meet Kurt, whatever. Y'all can do a lot together, but I said, no problem. So me, you know, Kurt Franklin, you know, he's been around a long time, great music. You know, you see Kurt, you see him with them tight jeans on, you overlook it because you're like, all right, that's Kurt. You know, he always got some painted jeans on. Oh, that's Kurt, whatever. He's sliding to the left, sliding to the right. So we look at him as, yo, that's Uncle Kurt. Oh, whatever. He, you know, running around here looking crazy. All right, cool. I have a different of opinion now. Because when you running around here telling people ill things about me and don't even know me, I got a problem. I got a problem. Because at the end of the day, let me have my Job season, right? Let me have my Job season. Let me go through what I got to go through, right? Because we can, when something happened to Haiti, when something happens to, to, to any of uh, Ukraine, when something happens to Africa, when something happened to China, when something happens inter in international, right? The church, we all praying for that person. We're all raising money for that person. We're all in prayer, prayer for this, prayer for that. But when something happened to Bishop Whitehead, ain't not, not, not one of them Negroes said a prayer for me. Not one of them called my phone, but yet you can say that you're not messing with me? Okay, cool, so now we got a problem. Now we got a problem. So, Kurt Franklin, right? Let me tell you something about your skin tight, wanting to be the, 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 the prince of gospel, wanting to be a sex symbol, right? Let's talk about that. And we're not even going to talk about your scandals. See, I'm from the streets, so I know what's going on. So we're not even going to talk about your scandals, right? We're not going to talk about your scandals. We're going to leave them alone because you're perfect. We, we, we want, Uncle Kurt is perfect, right? He just want to talk about other people's stuff, right? But your little skin tight with your chest out, right? Because all you're trying to do is be a sex symbol. Nobody in a gospel community should be singing gospel with their chest out, right? Number one. And then you sit running around here with these skin tight pants on, sliding to the left, sliding to the right. You're confusing the people, Mr. Kirk. You're confusing the people. It's either you are a gospel singer or, or, or you are a sex symbol. You can't be both, right? But, but everybody lets you but everybody lets you, everybody lets you do what you want to do, okay? Because you Kurt. But let me, let, let, let Bishop Whitehead stop this right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a stop to this right now, right? Keep my name out your mouth, number one. I care nothing about you and your crew, okay? That's number one. You ain't got a heaven or hell to put me in, and I don't need you to co-sign Bishop Whitehead. I got my own church, I got my own following, and I don't need you Negroes. Because what y'all do is... You bully the church. So we got the up and coming. Oh, let me say this. And stop acting like you put Maverick City on. You ain't put Maverick City on. Maverick City brought you back to life. Maverick City was already hot. And you weren't relevant anymore. Okay? Your music wasn't relevant no more. So you wanted to reinvent yourself. You wanted to reinvent yourself. Okay? So therefore, you got an anointed crew to come on with you and go on tour right you wanted to reinvent yourself brother so let's not look at you thinking that uh you're you're helping them no they helped you okay they helped you that's number one but what y'all do and what pisses me off is this y'all bullies y'all are bullies that's what y'all are how are you bullies right you guys got so much influence that you lower the young people in. 
you lower the young people in, and in their minds they're saying, wow, I got an opportunity with Kirk Franklin or whatever gospel singer or preacher it is. I have an opportunity to be with them and this, this, that, and third. And what y'all do is bully them. Do y'all know how many bishops and pastors go to different uh, 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 states and lower these young boys to their rooms and be raping these young boys? Y'all better do the research. You want to know why they really hate Bishop Whitehead? Because I don't do no, no, I, I'm not a freak like them, right? I, I want to say some other stuff, but I'm on live and I'm, I, 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 I just want to try to keep it as clean as possible. But they know that I'm not a part of that. They know I'm not a part of that. They're a bunch of freaks and they're a bunch of F-boys. Period, point blank. And and at the end of the day, they be lowering these young girls. They be low, lowering these young boys that's inspired by what God gave them to do and they misuse it. Kirk Franklin, let me tell you something about Bishop Whitehead. Negro, I don't care if you don't like me for whatever reason, all right? You're going to sit here and talk about, I, I came to you. Negro, I don't got to come to you, okay? I came to you out of the respect as to what Isaac Kyrie told me. Yo, y'all could do this. So don't think that I'm sweating you, brother, okay? And just know that I got family in Portland. And just know when you came up to one of my family members with a whole transvestite, I can get real crazy with it, brother, okay? I can get real crazy. Now, I'm not saying you did anything with him. I'm just telling you that you came up because my cousin was your neighbor. And he called me and said, yo, cuz, what just happened? I said, what just happened? And he told me what happened. So I'm letting you know, homeboy, all right? Take it easy on Bishop Whitehead, all right? Leave me alone. Leave me alone because at the end of the day, you can't stop my money and you can't stop me. You can call everywhere, anybody and tell them, oh, don't let Bishop Whitehead preach at the, your church. Blackball them, no problem. Because I got my own platform. I'm doing me, okay? Bishop Whitehead is Bishop Whitehead. I'm out here for the people that really love God. And you, and, 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 and guys like, Kurt Franklin that's trying to monopolize the game and monopolize the, uh, the, um, the gospel community and all these other freaks, what y'all doing, 90% of y'all that's in the church going to go straight to hell. You want to know why? Because God knows your heart and God knows what y'all doing in, behind closed doors. And my thing is this, let me have my Job season. Let me have my Job season, y'all. Let me go through what I got to go through. Let me have my Job chapter 1 through 42 season, right? You ain't got to have my back, but don't put your foot on my back. Because I'm a bite, period. And at the end of the day, right, if we can pray for everybody, if we can talk, if we can pray for everybody when somebody's going through something, even in different religions, if somebody's going through something, we all praying. But when a bishop of the Lord's church is going through, ain't nobody post nothing about prayer. Everybody want to want to want to be a uh, 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 caddy and everybody want to be gossipers and everybody want to be. Oh, I told you, you ain't tell nobody nothing because they lied on me when they when they arrested me. OK, they ran in my church with guns. No problem. It happens. I'm not the first church that it happened to. It happens. But yet everybody want to try to. Uh, uh, turn me from a victim to a villain. So, Mr. Kurt Franklin, let me tell you something about Bishop Whitehead. Hold on one second. Let me tell you something about Bishop Whitehead. What they didn't tell you, and I know, and I know that little, uh, 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 that little, um, what you call him, that little gremlin, Larry Reed, uh, uh, is your boy. All right, the one that's behind a lot of this stuff. Okay, but it's cool, cause oh, let me say this. Oh, whoa, 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 I almost forgot. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. You know, let me slow down a little bit. Let me slow down a little bit. Let me slow down just a tad bit. Because Isaac Kyrie, right, since you want to talk about me, Negro, right, I would have said something else. Since you want to talk about me, let's talk about how you was texting me and calling me and trying to, you know, what you got else, what else you got coming out about Larry Reed? What else you got coming out? What else you got coming out about Larry Reed? Nobody like him, Doc. Nobody like And did you want to try to flip on me, Isaac Kyrie? Negro, let me tell you something, bro. I'm different. I'm different, Isaac Kyrie. So just because you on Kirk Franklin's, just because you on Kirk Franklin's syndicated radio station, you think you gonna jump on me, Negro? Let me tell you something, Isaac Kyrie. All right, because you was calling me. Yeah, I got and I got the text messages, texting me. Oh my goodness, sending me stuff about Larry Reed. This, this, that, and the third, Isaac Kyrie. So now all of a sudden, since your, uh, since your boss. Uh, uh, tight pants Kurt Franklin with his chest out. Well, how old is he? 60 years old? Running around here with his arms out? Like, come on. Well, like, come on. Right? 
So since he don't like me for whatever reason, whoever pissed in his ear, you think you're going to talk about me? Let's talk about how you was texting me when I was letting Larry Reed uh, 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 allegedly child molestation, all that stuff out, right? And it's more to come on him. Watch this. And it's more to come on him, all right? Because he is the one that's behind a lot of this stuff, and it all boils down to bullying. Church bullies. Church bullies. So, Kurt Franklin, let me tell you something about Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead. Bring on all the smoke. If y'all don't know this, bring on the smoke. Bring the smoke. Bring on all of the smoke, okay? Kurt Franklin and whoever like you that don't want to now get to know me, so what? You're going to miss out on a great person. I'm a young man out here, fatherless. My father was killed when I was six weeks old. Grew up. Grew up. Grew up with a single parent. Grew up with a single parent. Right? In the streets of Brooklyn. And I had to do what I had to do. Period, point blank. And you fake wannabe gospel influencers. Don't ever think you can punk or play with me. And don't have me, and don't have me do a song like 50 Cent did about all you gospel singers, you pastors, you bishops. Because let me tell you something. I'll go in the studio. I promise you I will, y'all. I promise you I will. I'll go in the studio and put out a song blasting all of y'all. Because I know what y'all did last summer. Okay? I know what you did last summer. All right? And then y'all want to run to this. To, to, to the modern day Cleo Bishop, Bishop Jordan, right? The modern day Cleo Bishop Jordan, right? Where you gotta pay for the prophecy, right? But they don't know that I know. Well, well, they don't know that I know that there is a list running around here. A major gospel singer and he's a man, gave a disease to another man and the courts ordered that gospel singer to write a list of all the men he slept with. And that gospel singer and that list had a lot of bishops, prophets, pastors, ministers of the gospel. All right? And that's why they don't like Bishop Whitehead. Because you know what? I stay in my lane. I ain't the one to gossip. But y'all don't play with me. Do not play with me. Okay? Leave Bishop Whitehead alone. I just want to preach. I want to build a community. I want to build God's people. Y'all got mad when I had 50 Cent in my pulpit. When I had the different rappers in my pulpit. But yet they're giving their life to God. When I got gang members in, in my church, y'all want to sit here and talk about that. Let me tell you something. I don't recycle save folk. But let me tell you this. There is a list. 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 Of names. Of names. Y'all know I ain't this YouTube or blogger that we got a lot. I ain't got a lot. That has a number of bishops. And a number of pastors, a number of bishops, and a number of pastors, and a number of prophets, they are all male that slept with this male. Y'all leave me alone. Kurt Franklin, I went easy on you just now. Keep my name out your mouth. We ain't gotta be cool. You're an icon. Do you. Why you gotta talk about Bishop Whitehead? Why you got to talk about Bishop Whitehead? You're an icon. Man, I listen to your songs all the time. But one thing about me is I ain't going to let you talk about me. I ain't going to let you talk about me. And y'all could sit here and talk about, oh, Bishop, why you doing it? Because I want to do it. And you want to know why, you want to know why um, preachers are going crazy? 
and preachers are committing suicide because we feel like that we can't say, we can't be human. We cannot be, we, we, we feel like we can't be human, right? We can't have a human moment. So we gotta hold in everything. And we gotta be of God. And we gotta be quiet. You know, they called me and said to me that uh, Larry Reed allegedly was talking about the young man, the young preacher, I don't know him, Matthew Stevenson. They said he was talking about him so bad. And they said, allegedly, I, I, I didn't see it, I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not, I don't know. But they said that, that, that Larry Reed was talking about this boy, Matthew Stevenson, so bad. Said that he was sleeping with another man and some other, allegedly, I don't know, I don't know. Y'all know better than me. And then I heard that his church was hurting because, I, I don't know how true this is, y'all. I'm just telling you what I heard. They said that the boy wanted to commit suicide. Y'all not doing that to me. Are you crazy? Y'all not doing that to me. Y'all not gonna make me lose my mind by harboring and holding on to what y'all trying to do? You, man, man, you crazy. You crazy. Y'all crazy. I didn't choose to be a preacher. God chose me to be a preacher. Jeremiah 1 and 5 said, before I formed thee, I knew you. Eight out of 10 of them was born into preaching. Ain't nobody preachers in my, in my family. I think my aunt, she was an evangelist. But outside of that, I'm the first bishop. That's not in my bloodline. And all of this ridicule. And, and, and I got to go through job seasons and... Hey, let me tell you something, if I was out in the streets, I guarantee you guys wouldn't even be paying attention to what's going on. But since I'm who I am, everybody's paying attention. But listen, I'm closing out on this. Kurt Franklin, you mess with the wrong one. And I'm telling you, keep your mouth shut. Because I'll go right back on. And I, if y'all don't know me, I'll go head on, y'all. I'll go head on. But I'm telling y'all this. I'm telling y'all this. These little gossipers and everybody that's using my platform uh, uh, and using my name to make their YouTube numbers go up or whatever... Listen, man, y'all do what you got to do. If that's the way y'all got to eat, that's the way you got to eat. But I'm tired of my family crying over what y'all punks talking about, all right? And remember, y'all can't change your face. Don't be mad at me because you're ugly. You can't change your face, okay? And, they, and, 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 and you guys got so many skeletons in your closet. It is just unreal. But I'm the preacher that you will never bully. I'm the preacher that you will never in your life bully. Never in your life bully. I'm the preacher that found true deliverance. I've been delivered from a dark place. And I believe God. Man, if you don't get out of here, man. Anyway, like I said. You, anyway, like I said. Oh, boy, that's crazy. What are you about to do? Any of you preachers. And don't text me. We ain't cool like that. They text me. And I ain't hear from you in forever. Don't, don't, don't text my phone. Text my own. Get off. Of, no, 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 no. Why? 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 People will sit and talk about you, then text you and tell you, don't say nothing. Let me tell y'all something. This is a wacky, wacky world. And y'all not going to make me wacky. Kurt Franklin, fall back from the bishop. Okay? I care nothing about your influence. I care nothing about all these preachers that love you. And I care nothing. They don't got to like me nor love me. They don't have to. But I'm going to tell you like this. All you preachers that's filling on these young preachers, God is going to expose you. All these preachers that's, that, 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 that is intimidating these young female gospel singers and laying with them, God is going to expose you. All of you bullies, all of you bullies, all you fake prophets selling prophecies for money, God is going to expose you. And let me tell you this, I'm going to go through my Job season with my head up high, ten toes down. Guess what? They all talked about Job. 
So they're going to all talk about Bishop. And I got to go through what I got to go through. You want to know why? Because God shows me. And let me tell you this, y'all. We have to understand that this is a season. This is a season where the church is praying against the church. There are people and there are preachers that are out here praying for my downfall. It's, it, it, it's really weird. It's really weird. Really weird. Really weird. Can't believe you tell them I get off live. If you don't get out of my face with that, please. Anyway. Hold on a second. Guys. So, like I said, you guys can love me or hate me. Either or. No problem. But at the end of the day, Bishop Whitehead is going to speak the truth. Period. Kurt Franklin, don't be running around here with my name in your mouth. Period. If you don't like me, you don't have to like me. You don't even know me. But don't sit here and be talking about me. I, I, I spoke to one of my brothers. And he was like, Bishop, let me just set up a call. I said, I said, no, 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 no. We're not going to hide this. I'm going to say what I want to say. And we're going to balance the playing field now. And if he want to talk now, we talk. If he don't want to talk, I don't care. Period. Because he said something about me. I ain't say nothing about him. Period, point blank. And Isaac Kyrie, nigga, you get half a bar. And I wish I could say what I want to say. Jay-Z said it for me. Period, point blank. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. So I'm going to end this live and I'm saving it. And I don't want no calls telling me to take it down. Because I don't care nothing about you nor the takedown. All right, And I don't care about none of these preachers, these bishops, and everybody that's in bed with these influences. And they say, oh, well, if, 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 if I'm supporting Bishop Whitehead, then, then these influences might not like me. No problem. No problem. You want to know why? Because God is setting the church with a new look, with another generation. God is setting the church with a new understanding and, new, and different people, people that really love God, that really... Uh, 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 that really gives their life to God, right? People that have been through some things in their lifetime. People who who who, who, who understand that God saved their life. And and, 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 and and coming to church is not predicated on if people like them or not. See, we come to church, to, we, we come to church now to be seen. We come to church to be liked. I don't care about being liked. I'd rather be, I'd rather be an enemy of man than an enemy of God any day. Hold on a second. I'd rather be an enemy of man to the end. Uh, oh, I'd rather be an enemy to man than an enemy of God any day. I'm driving. Y'all, so I'm losing train my thought. So I can't believe it. You talking about get off live? Like you, you hold weight in my life. If y'all go sit down somewhere. Man, let me block them. Hold on. That, that was crazy. And you talk about me too if you're watching me. Right. Trust me. People have told me you talked about me too. That's some nerve telling me get off live. You kidding me? And you block. Get off live. Nigga, are you crazy? These people are crazy. You ain't going to drive me crazy because you crazy. I didn't even know you had my number. Out of their mind, man. Yeah, Bishop Whitehead got a platform. I got my own platform. And you say something about me, if you want, I'm clapping back. Period, point blank. And I'm going to get in the pulpit and preach Jesus. Because let me tell you this, right? Jesus wasn't no punk and neither was I. The Bible teaches us that when they were selling things in the sanctuary, Jesus came in here and started flipping tables over. Y'all selling garbage in the sanctuary. And it's my, it's my turn to flip these tables over. So, Kirk Franklin, you and your painted pants... And your cowboy boots with your chest out, don't play with Bishop Whitehead. And just understand, I know more about Portland than you think I know about. I'm out, y'all. And I don't care how y'all feel. I watch the cars drive past through the streets of my city. I know some haters in the back. It ain't one fucking with me, but I kiss me against the world. Still, I'm keeping it pretty. Switch up my moves like I see places, but they like me so ditty, baby. Come see me.
just one way to another heat Slide through my city